Hey guys, welcome back to Oathbound Gaming. I'm your host, Greg, and I don't need this headset. So, today we're going to be discussing Souls-like games and how they're screwing me and my friends. Before we jump into that, if you're not subbed, throw me a sub if you like this content. Always appreciate that. Keeps me motivated to keep delivering more content, keep posting more videos. Really, really keeps me going. And uh, if you haven't entered the RTX 3080 giveaway, OathboundGaming.com, enter today. Let's get started, though. How Souls-like games are screwing me and my friends. My friends and I. Proper English. Um, so I'm playing right now. This is live. This isn't a recording. And I'm going to be discussing co-op in Souls-like games. A lot of Souls-like games tend to have co-op in them, and specifically like AAA ones, not like those isometric ones or the side-scrolling ones. They're still cool. There's some cool indie ones out there that, that are somewhat Souls-like, you know? And let's talk about Neo real quick, because that's what I'm playing. Neo, the co-op in Neo limits you to players that have already beat the content you are on. So I started a new character here, and this is like the first level after like the, t the uh, tutorial. I could summon a visitor here. This is going to summon another player, and this player has to have already beat this content. So the game does not let you co-op with other players from the get-go. It doesn't let you co-op with another friend and go through the entire game together. And if we, we could in that situation, that would mean that two players could start the game and not know anything about the game and be on par with each other, same level, they don't know the level the, the, the level they're on, they don't know the bosses, they don't know the enemies, they're learning together. Or, we have Neo's current system that lets me summon extremely overpowered players that have already done this content. Why? Because when I think about co-op limitations in Souls-like games, I think that they want to keep the game difficult because Souls-like games tend to pride themselves on difficulty, right? They tend to want to be more difficult, and they, they like to be difficult, right? And I, and I love it. I love more difficult games. But then they let me do stuff like this. I get summoned players that are extremely overpowered. So it doesn't make sense to me. And that's the only people that are available to me, is people that have already beat this. So I'm willing to bet that the person I summon is extremely overpowered and just decimates the content. So, the guy got wrecked. So, why? Why Neo? And it's not just Neo, it's Dark Souls as well. Okay, someone just joined. You sense a visitor's presence. So he just joined the game. And we're going to go complete this level together. Level's not that much longer, but it gives me time to, uh, to talk about the game a little bit. So we should see this guy spawn in. He should load in and come down here and, uh, and join me. I'm going to wait for him for a second. See if we can see him. Yeah, screw it. Let's go on without him. Let's go clear. Because he'll join us in a second. So, by the way, I've been working on the webcam a little bit. It's not perfect, but it's a heck of a lot better than I, I have had previously. And I'm sorry if you can hear the controller buttons and all that stuff there. It's a, a little on the loud side. But, yeah. So, I love, so I, I love co-op games. I like Souls-like games. And... One of the reasons why I tend to avoid... Yeah, this guy. This guy is, uh... Strong, I can tell already. So he's immensely stronger than my current character. So I started a new one just so I can prove the point. Is why... Okay, he might be strong, but... Okay, he's very, very strong. Because he just hit that guy for 1902. Let's see if he can... See my point? So, if your goal is to keep the game as difficult as possible, why this, Neo? Why this? And this is one of the reasons why I'm not buying Neo 2. I won't buy it at least for a while. I mean, I'll wait for the sale and stuff like that. But this guy is ridiculously strong. Ridiculously overpowered for the content I just summoned him into. Why can't me and a buddy just play through the game together, you know, at, at this... um. progress together. So I'm going to pull up this article real quick. Um, Neo says devs... Neo devs say they changed co-op so it wouldn't be too easy. So 
It's possible to summon players into your game to help with a difficult level of boss. You can set a password to summon, summon one of your friends for co-op, but there's a catch. That person you're summoning has to have beaten the level you're on. This means you can't just partner up with a friend and play the entire game co-op Diablo style. Why not? Scale the game. Make the game harder. Can I co-op to the entire game? Because that would make it too easy for players to beat the game. Again, you cannot co-op through the entire game because that would make it too easy for players to beat the game, said Tom Lee, creative director at Team Ninja, the people that made Neo. So, why? Why would they... Oh, is this guy leaving? No, he's coming. So, why would they do that if this is now immensely easier? Watch, I'm going to summon this dude here, and I'm going to avoid him because this guy's going to just wreck him. So... Neo, see how hard that dude just hit me? And this guy's just throwing little magic bolts. So, is this not an easier game right now than me being partnered up with someone of equivalent strength? Wouldn't that be a more difficult game than what I currently have? And I'd be able to play with a buddy and just co-op through the entire game. And this isn't an MMO. I'm a big fan of MMOs. I love MMOs. Play a ton of them. And I'm all for, like, hey, you're keeping the game difficult. Like, you can't bring ten players into a five-man dungeon because that would make the content too easy, you know? That makes sense. But in this case, this isn't an MMO. There isn't even real PvP in this game. So why are we limiting players like that? Let them play the game co-op. In fact, I, I would be willing to bet that more people would have bought your game. I mean, not that this game did bad. It did actually quite well. But I'd be willing to bet more co-op-oriented players would have picked this thing up and been like, yo, I want to co-op this whole game with my friend. And I wish more more Souls-like games just let you straight up co-op right off the bat, right from the main menu. Hey, bro, join my game. Start. Let's go through it together. You know, like, that's it. None of this, hey, you got to summon this guy in. Uh, summon this guy in. Okay, you kill the boss. Now you separate. Summon him back again. Why are we doing this? Why are we intentionally making the game tedious when you could easily just put in scaling? You know, put something in the game that scales the difficulty up Whenever... That guy just fell through the roof. That just, you know, like, the difficulty should scale up for the number of players you have. Period. And if you want this game to be two-player co-op, fine. Double the enemy's health, maybe put some extra enemies in the game. Make the game, you know, put in a little bit of extra dev time and throw some, uh... Throw some tour, uh, co-op-oriented changes into the game. So... Again, I'm, I'm not insulting um, Souls-like games in any way, shape, or form. I'm, I'm not. I, I like them. I like them, and I wish they supported people that enjoy co-op, like myself. And I enjoy a good single-player game. I do. But Souls-like games, they just, they're the play style, in my opinion, to offer a great co-op environment. A great co-op game, right? I just think, I have no idea where I'm going. This way, right? Yeah, three. Thank you, buddy. It's been a long time since I played this. Um, <laughs> this guy's got spells I've like never even seen before in this game. And I beat the game. I got all achievements and all that stuff. I put in, I don't know, a fair amount of time. But it's been it's been a little while since I played, and <laughs> this guy's throwing out crazy abilities. So again, I ask you, is this not easier than, like, playing with someone on, on the same level as me, on par? Like, isn't this easier? And I'm gonna prove- if you said no, I'm gonna prove it right here. I'm not even gonna- I'm gonna try not to help this guy with this boss here. Take a look at this thing. Our boss fight, he's gonna join, and I'm willing to bet he just decimates this guy. He just freaking wrecks him. So he just casted a slow on him, enemy's now slow. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna wait. So, he's probably going to set this thing on fire with enough of that. Let's see. Ooh, he just got trucked, but took no... So he just ignited the enemy, now it's doing nothing. I can't believe he's got this many spells. I've never built a character like that. So wouldn't it be a more entertaining game for two players to be struggling through that boss fight, rolling out of the way, getting hit, essentially one shot, you know? But they they bring this guy in. He, he did the no. 
like I didn't help him. Um, they bring a crazy overpowered player in because they didn't want to make the game less difficult. Neo, Neo devs, I know you'll never see this, but what the hell? I I think you I think you messed up. I'm willing to bet that um the game would be a heck of a lot harder if you just let people co-op together off the bat and you did a little bit of co-op scaling. So, next topic is Dark Souls 2. I never played Dark Souls 3 because of this, because of the co-op stuff. I didn't even bother picking it up. So Dark Souls 2, their system makes a little bit more sense. However, I still don't agree with it. And here's why. So Dark Souls 2 has two major issues with co-op. Okay, one minor issue and one major issue, I'll say that. This here is a soul memory calculator. And soul memory is like your experience you get in Dark Souls. And that's like your total experience in a way, I guess, right? And you can put it in here and say, okay, I have 200,000 on my character. So that means I can co-op if I have this white soapstone, which I use to summon players, which is another stupid system. I can summon them, summon players from 150 to 300,000. I'll be able to summon players. And that's, that's a decent gap, you know? Then they give this... Over down here, you can see the gap is much larger here, right? That that green segment. If you wear this ring, uh, name engraved ring, and when you put it on, you get to choose a god, and you choose the god, and you tell your friends, "Hey, pick that same god as me," and I'll put my soapstone down on the ground. So you put this soapstone on the ground. Your character, like you know, if you've never seen it, he scribbles it on the ground, and you tell them, "Hey, I'm gonna put it in the corner in this room. Do you see it? No, I don't see it. Why not?" Oh, I died and I'm a hollow. So now I gotta get out of hollow form and summon... And then summon you guys, because I can't summon when I'm in hollow. Okay, not a big deal. So let's... Let's let's cure that. And then, okay, hopefully they're within this soul level range of you, and you can summon them. Alright? Okay, well... Here's the problem. When you summon players... Let's say you're playing four-player co-op, which is how I tried to play Dark Souls 2 originally, before we called it quits on the co-op thing and we ended up playing it solo four player co-op picture this one player player one needs to summon players two three and four right let's say it works out they all get summoned to the same game they kill the boss in that section they were summoned to ideally the first boss you know they were just trying to co-op from the beginning as soon as they kill the boss all the players get kicked out of the game but only player one gets progress for that gets progress. Only player one gets to actually proceed past that now. Their story actually progressed and in their story, that boss is dead. They actually killed that boss for their game. Players two, three, and four didn't. So now, if player one wants to summon players two, three, and four, he can't. Because players two, three, and four haven't summoned the first, haven't killed the first boss yet. So they have to kill the first boss in their game. So now player two needs to summon players one, three, and four, and you need to kill it again. Then player 3 needs to do it. Players 1, 2, and 4. Then player 4. So you need to kill every single boss in the game four times to proceed. Four times. So you essentially need to beat the game four times to beat it once. And it's just a little ridiculous to me. It just doesn't make sense. And I I get the soul level limitation. I not only get it, I agree with it. I agree with it. And there's ways to make it expanded and stuff like that. And, and again, I'm not... I feel like I have to say this because you guys are going to get all pissed off at me. Oh, you hate, you hate Souls-like games. I really don't. Lords of the Fallen, by the way, love it. One of my favorite Souls-like games of all time. And you guys are going to probably be like, what? Lords of the Fallen? I know, it's not a popular opinion. I love Lords of the Fallen. I think it's one of the best Souls-like games, if not the best Souls-like Souls -like game. Let's start calling it Lords of the Fallen-like games. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> People are going to get mad about that. People are going to get salty. Um, I'm kidding. Um, so... It's an odd system. Why not just, hey, you guys match each other's soul level, you're, you're within each other's range, so that, that means, okay, you're, you're relatively close to each other's strength. You can just invite, each, from the main menu, from a lobby, you can invite all four of you guys into a single game, you know, one guy invites the other three, you're all in the same game, and you can go. And it goes like this. If they haven't killed the first boss, and you kill the first boss in the game... They get credit in their game. As long as they're within your soul level, that should be the only limitation. So even if player 1's at, at boss 3, but the other guys haven't killed boss 2, they could still join his game 
And he can even go back and kill boss too. And as long as that boss gets killed, they get credit for their game. That's it. Why do we have to do these weird systems where we just... We have to fight against the systems and finagle the system in a way to try to make it work for us. And I just... I don't agree with it. I don't like it. And that is how Souls-like games are screwing me and my friends. And I would be much more into Souls-like games and much more likely to play them if they fix their co-op. Neo 2 is coming out and I've been staring at it and I've been looking at it and I'm like, oh man, I want to play it, but I would love to co-op it. And that's what kills me. That's what eats at me. So again, I think this is like the third or fourth time I'm saying this, I love Souls-like games, but have have you ever played a game that's single player? Mountain Blade, for instance, and you just go, this would be so much fun with friends. This would be so good together with buddies just going into an army and wrecking things together. That's Souls-like games for me. I want to be able to buddy-buddy, get my, my friends in there and just wreck everything together and just struggle through together. Hopefully the game scales for co-op, and that's what I want. So Souls-like games, come on. Do us co-op fans a favor here. Throw us a bone. Change your systems. Release co-op oriented Souls-like games or updates. Change your old systems. Neo 2, you come out, change Neo 1. Let us co-op now throughout the whole game. So that's the end of my that's the end of my spiel, my rant. Let me know what you guys think about these type of videos where we just talk about a topic. Um, I have some more of these in my in my brain that I really want to talk about, but um, let me know. Let me know if you like these type of videos, you like these discussions. And if uh, you ever want to talk about this, you want to comment below, let me know what you think. I'm always happy to talk. Um, You can also join the Discord. Heck, we can join voice chat and just uh, talk gaming, talk tech. Always love that stuff. It's what gets me excited. And uh, it's always fun to do. And that's why I made this channel, right? So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this long rant. And I wasn't too boring. And as always, if you're not subbed, please consider throwing me a sub. I really appreciate that. It keeps me motivated. We'll keep more videos coming. And enter that third gate giveaway. It's been great. Thank you very much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Skip out!